Morning guys, it's Sunday and it is time to clean the garage and install some new mods on the car that I got. So we'll do an unboxing of that later, but first we gotta clean the garage. Ashley's gonna help me. Yay. All right guys, so we got some new stuff for the BMW today. I got a badass switch panel. I'm gonna wire all my shit up too. I got a fan so it'll blow outside air into my face so I'm not sweating continuously the entire time I'm driving. Ashley's gonna love that. <laughs> I got some lights so I can fix my tail light, which I learned was out last time I went drifting. Uh, some terminal panels for wiring. Some LED strips. We're gonna make the interior dope as fuck. So uh, when we get in the car at night, we can buckle up our seat belts without fumbling in the dark. And also, so when I go to car shows, I can flick them on and the whole interior will glow blue. And it'll look awesome because the whole interior is stripped and it's black. So that's gonna be great. Then got some shit so I can tap into my battery without having to cut wires. And I got some goop because remember when it rained and my car filled with water? I want that to stop. So <laughs> I'm gonna put some goop in there and try and stop the leaks. And a coat hanger just in case I get to paint the grill on my uh, Tacoma today, which I don't know if I'll have time for, but we'll see later on. All right, let's get started. So the first part of any install is to what? Steal zip ties from your roommate. <laughs> <laughs> and I know where Kyle hides his zip ties. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle, I'll replace them later. We got our solder and all our stuff. Got all our wires put together and heat shrink. And it's starting to look good. All the wires are coming together. We know where we're going to put all the lights. Oh, shit. <laughs> back to the drawing board. No, just kidding. Oh, sorry, I pulled back. Alright, so we just soldered the connections. And then uh, we're going to run the wires to the battery and see how it all lights up. Red. Alright. I just hooked up all my LED lights and it took forever and actually helped. She's awesome. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Duh! Ah! Cool. Dope as fuck! <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then it's gonna be on the floor too. We haven't done that yet though. Looks pretty good. Right? Alright guys, so I haven't been recording, but I got a lot of shit done. All the lights, I don't think you can see them. It doesn't want to focus on it, but all of these all along the roof are black LED lights. They're gonna turn blue when they're lit up. I've run them all through the interior of the car behind the metal, so you can't see anything. It's all wire tucked, looks great. And then ran it all the way up here to where the battery is. And then uh, now I'm gonna deal with this mess. I've got my switch panel, my fans, and I'm gonna wire it all into the car's electrical system and it's all gonna run to these awesome blue switches that I got off uh, Amazon. So these are all gonna glow blue, and then that in the middle is a voltmeter that's also gonna glow blue once it's done. And then I've got all my shit in the seat here because I've got the car in the garage and I can't get in the other door. So got all my tools next to me and I'm about to climb over and uh, wire, this, wire all this shit up. So let's do it. So all my wires have been run, positive, negative. I've got all my grounds coming together. I'm gonna run this to my terminal board so I can ground out all my accessories. And then now I've got little tiny distributor blocks. So I'm gonna wire my switches up to these. So anytime I have a new accessory, I can literally just put the, uh, I forget what they're called, these little connectors on the ends, tap them into whichever switch I wanna access and it'll be somewhere easily accessible right over here. And then I can just put the but push the button and it'll activate that new accessory. So it'll be no more running wires or any of that bullshit. It's gonna be awesome. 
So easy. All right, let's hook up an accessory and see what happens. All right, I've got everything wired up. I'm gonna put the fuse in, and if I, my calculations are correct, this button should turn on my fan, as long as this, this is switched on. All right, so let's give it a shot and see what happens. Okay, fuse is in, reads my voltage, all my light switches are lit. All right, let's turn on the fan. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels good. This is fucking awesome. You can see my voltage drop to 12.3. Running the fan and 12.5 because I'm not running the fan. Oh, this is awesome. I actually wired something correctly and everything works. That's unbelievable. Now I'm gonna rig up the lights that I hooked up earlier and uh, wire that to switch number two and see how that goes. Alright, switch number one. And still working. Switch number two should be lights. Oh! Oh! Dope! <laughs> Dope as fuck. Yes. It looks so good. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. I can actually see when I put my seatbelts on and it accents the car at car shows, which is gonna be great. Fuck yes. So happy right now. Oh. All right, I'm gonna call that a night. I'll clean up all the wires and shit later. I'm exhausted, I've been doing this for like eight hours. All right. All right, so as you can see, I finished up wiring all my accessories. So we got a main power breaker here, which turns on my panel. And then I've got a voltage meter, I've got car chargers, and I've got a 12 volt standard socket. And then I 3D printed this um, this panel that housed it and zip tied it to the frame. It'll probably melt in the sun, but it's a good temporary solution. And if it starts to metal, I'll figure something out. And then I pre-wired all the switches to terminals. You can see there, these are my grounds, and these are the positives. And then I've got a nice inline fuse there. And it doesn't look weird because there's wires everywhere anyways. <laughs> and then I got a little speaker that I put in my little laptop holder here, which will be super useful. Uh, listen to music while I drift. And then first one's wired to radar detector. Got a Valentine one. Second one's wired to fans, which is really nice. So right now it blows cold air, pulls air from outside and just blows straight up. So this fan redirects it into my face, which in this car, which is an oven, is amazing. And then the third switch I wired to LED lights. So at night when people are buckling their seatbelts, they can actually see what they're doing. Because right now you can't see shit. And when I go to car shows, it'll look great. So I just uh, flip the switch and the whole interior glows blue. And with the bare metal, it looks really fucking good. And then all the other three switches do nothing. But um, after last night's drift event, uh, I think I'm gonna wire these up to light bars. Because uh, when all the lights went out, a <laughs> nighttime drift event and you can't see anything, it's really annoying to pay all that money and then not be able to see where you're sliding. So I'm gonna wire up some light bars, definitely in the f one big one in the front, and then probably one on the left side for the entry corner. Because you gotta see what you're doing on there, and when you're sliding sideways, anything pointed forward is not helping you at all. So that'll be sweet. I could wire that to a switch and maybe like have a temporary mount like on my mirror where it points at like a 45 degree angle out and just lights everything up over there. So that'd be dope. But yeah, I'll figure it out. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the wiring video. Like, subscribe, comment if you enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of more good videos to come. All right, later.